This is Diablo Canyon, the last functioning nuclear power plant in California. Though scheduled to shut down in 2025, the state recently extended its operations by up to five more years. Global energy disruptions caused by Russia's war in Ukraine and sky-high fuel prices mean aging nuclear plants are getting a new lease on life. I, I think it's, you know, one of these elements that just add up to the the, the, the pressure to see if, if we can um, continue uh, operating these. Countries including Germany, Japan and the UK plan to keep on running plants that had been scheduled to close. Even as traditional plants like this one are having their lifespans extended all around the world, a new type of nuclear power plant is on the horizon, one that may change the industry forever. They are called small modular reactors, or SMRs for short. I think small modular reactor technology is really going to be a game changer for uh, nuclear going forward. SMRs are smaller and cheaper. They can be built in factories and delivered to where they're needed. So you could have some really remote locations that just need a little bit of power. That can be a boon for countries struggling to cut fossil fuel emissions. Everybody's really having a look at these small modular reactors as part of their energy equation. Some scientists say SMRs are safer than traditional reactors because they don't need externally powered pumps to replenish the water supply used to keep fuel rods from overheating. The reactors are, are, are actually immersed in a big pool of water and that pool is sufficient to uh, cool off the reactors. There is no power requirement to uh, safely shut down these reactors. So no meltdown? No. Still, other scientists say SMR's lack of a robust containment system, like the giant concrete domes on conventional plants, could present a danger. But U.S. regulators have already approved one company's SMR design. With more than 70 commercial SMR designs on the drawing board worldwide, experts say the first SMRs will be operational sometime in the next decade. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, San Luis Obispo, California.